Reaching Takakaso, the Shimazu forces reunited, and likewise, the Otomo also were ready under the brother of the Otomo daimyo, Sorin Tawara Chikataka. The battle that was to come was also drawn on religious lines, with the Shimazu being Buddhist, while the Otomo were Christian, which is why in their siege, the Otomo had Portuguese cannon, which they called Kunikuzuri or destroyer of provinces. The night before the battle that will come to be known as the Battle of Mimigawa, Shimazu Yoshihisa had a dream and he formed it into a poem. It went, The enemy defeated host is as the maple leaves to autumn floating on the water of the Takuta stream. The Shimazu forces took this as a good omen. The battle involved 30,000 Shimazu warriors versus 50 to 60,000 Otomo ones. When the battle began, the Shimazu had taken up a defensive posture. To the impetuous Tawara with numerical superiority, he did not see the need for caution and attacked. But unbeknownst to Tawara, it was a trap for Yoshihisa had planned to use the Shimazu's favorite decoy tactic which would be used 8 times from 1527 to 1600. The decoy which was the center was commanded by Shimazu Yoshihiro, with the flanks led by Shimazu Tadahira and Tadamune. The Shimazu center retreated, leading the Otomo across the Takajowara. But still, the Otomo charge was devastating, with the weight of it ripping into the Shimazu ranks, with even generals like Hongo Hisamori being killed in the desperate fighting. Now Yoshihisa could have easily done a Xerxes and fled, but instead he refused to move his standard back and rallied his men to him. First they stemmed the charge, then he ordered the Shimazu flanks to charge the Otomo in a pincer movement. At this crucial moment, Shimazu Iehisa sallied forth from Takakaso and charged the enemy in the rear. With that, the Otomo levy's morale broke and routed. The Shimazu were relentless and rode down the enemy all the way north, with Otomo troops being killed as far as 25 kilometers from Mimigawa. Casualties for the Otomo were also possibly as high as 20,000, and from then on, they would never recover their former prominence. Both times outnumbered, both times victorious, Yoshihisa's reputation was now undeniable and with the Otomo no longer a threat for the time being, he struck a truce with them and marched to Higo instead. Of course, many clans saw where the wind was blowing and joined the Shimazu. The only exception being Sagara Yoshiaki, who refused to allow the Shimazu into his lands which led to Higo. This resulted in the siege of Minamata, recorded in the Iriki Inn documents. With Minamata taken, Higo brought with it a new challenger, the Ryuzoji clan, led by his daimyo, Takanobu. He had already taken most of Chikuzen and Hizen, and even taken advantage of the Otomo woes by taking districts in Higo. Now, unlike the other daimyos, Yoshihisa would find that Takanobu was a decent opponent as a stalemate developed in the fighting between the two clans. Over time, as the Shimazu were consolidating their holds, in southern Kyushu and Higo, the Ryuzoji were still expanding, forcing the Shimabara area of Hizen clans to submit to them. The Arima tried to offer resistance but it failed, with the Arima daimyo even converting to Christianity in the hope of getting help from the Jesuits. When this failed, he sent a plea to Yoshihisa for aid. Yoshihisa was skeptical there was any benefit in the plea effort. Shimazu Iehisa convinced him otherwise arguing that it would open another front against the Ryuzoji. So how will this decision turn out and will Yoshihisa regret or rejoice at the choice? Find out next time. Until next word.